my soul. Oh, my soul, I worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Pastor Marshall, I forgot them and, and, and left the phone on the table right here. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Great is our Lord, how great is our God, how great is his name. He is the greatest one forever the same. He rolls back the waters from the mighty Red Sea. He says, I will lead you if you will trust in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence, welcome into our day, welcome into our way. Have thine own way, Holy Spirit, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, and we're just the clay. Mold us and make us, and teach us your will. Cover us, O Lord, guard us still. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great, and you are almighty. All honor, all praise, all glory belongs to you, O King. You are our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. He is Lord to the glory of Jehovah, the I am that I am. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Dawn. Hallelujah. Glad that you have settled in and doing well. Blessings. I hope that all is going well thus far with your new your transition. Blessings to you and your family as you take on this new journey. It is and shall be well. Amen. Praise God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. As we welcome the Holy Spirit, I welcome each and every one of you in your own right. You are blessed and highly favored. You are the blessed of God. You are the anointed of God. Hallelujah. And so I greet you as your majesties. I greet you as your highnesses. I greet you as God's kings and priests in the earth. I greet you in your offices. Uh, that you have been assigned and I greet you as the title of sons of the most high God and so to all the apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists that may pass through or that may uh, desire to just sit and have devotional time with us I bless you and welcome you and I bless and welcome all fourth watch family members in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth those on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube, and on Arrows Internet Radio, Pastors Jolette and Noel Campbell. Last night we had a very good time, a really catawampus time on Arrows Radio. Hallelujah. We were um, discussing deception and the elect in church and in society in general. And we've see, we have we looked at so many different ways that people are deceived or are being deceived in the various uh, areas and sectors of life, but especially the church where we're supposed to be deeply touched and deeply controlled or influenced by the Spirit of God that cannot be deceived. But yet still, there's so much deception in church. And so we must be the ones to be the guard be the bastions of what it is that god has given us uh, we have not been we have not received the spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind and yet still we often are not demonstrating power or love or self-control and so we must uh, tighten up our bootstraps pull up our big boy pants or a big girl um what well, yeah our big girl whatever and, um, and get to work to say 
we will not put God to shame. We will stand. We will back up the enemy. We will rebuke and discharge the works of the enemy from our lives, from our family, from our children, from our community, from our nation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, as we come into this time, into this hour, into this moment, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you woke us up this morning. Thank you that your mercies are new. Mercies that cause us to be like you, to walk in the fullness of your goodness, to walk in the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow, to walk in your favor. Hallelujah. Because when in your favor, we have favor with you and with man. And so we thank you this morning for the fourth watch hour. Thank you for this fourth watch family. Thank you for our extended families. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that every member of our bloodline is blessed and highly favored because we are your children, the sheep of your pasture. As we enter into your gates with thanksgiving this day and into your courts with praise, we are thankful unto you and we bless your name. For you are good, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and your mercies endure forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I prophesy, I prophesy, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know everyone has not come in as yet, but one of the things that I like to do before we start get into deep uh, intercession and then into the word is to prophesy. We want to prophesy to our morning as soon as we are uh, sharp enough and alert enough to begin to speak into our day, to begin to speak into our way and to set the course because the Lord says that we shall have what we say. And so what we say is what, hallelujah, we will have. And the devil cannot play with what we say because what we say is rooted and grounded in the word of God, by God, for God, to be glorified. Amen. And so as you as you come in, hallelujah, I want you to just begin to prophesy. First of all, I want you to prophesy that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord over your atmosphere. Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth is Lord over everywhere. Everywhere that you are, everywhere that you are not, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord and God and Master and King. Wherever you are, I am in Jamaica, and so I say Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord over Jamaica. He's Lord over Kingston. He's Lord over Montego Bay. He's Lord over Clarendon, over Westmoreland, over St. Catherine, over St. Anne, over St. Thomas. Hallelujah. He's Lord over St. Elizabeth, over Mandeville. Hallelujah. Or Manchester. He's Lord over St. Catherine. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord over all the parishes of this nation. Hallelujah. He's Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, Lord over Hanover. Lord over all 14 parishes of this nation. Come on, begin to prophesy. Jesus Christ is Lord over your county, over your city, over your state. He Lord, he's Lord over your workplace Jesus Christ come on begin to declare we're setting the atmosphere for an awesome day today uh, Jesus Christ has to be Lord over your space over your atmosphere over your home over your finances over your your family your bloodline if Jesus Christ is not Lord over everything that concerns you then there will be trials and tribulations there'll be struggles there'll be disappointments there'll be hurts there will be failures, but if he is Lord, then all things will work together for good. Yes, there still will be some disappointments and some trials and testings, but it will work together for good because he is Lord. Amen. And so begin to speak even now into your atmosphere. I don't care if you just woke up and you haven't rubbed your eyes yet or washed your face, but still begin to declare as you're heading to the bathroom. Just begin to declare, thank you, Lord. I am blessed and highly favored. You woke me up this morning, therefore there is work to be done. I prophesy that I shall do the work of the Lord with accuracy and proficiency. I shall do the work of the Lord with, uh, God, with, with, with great power 
with great anointing, with great grace. I shall be a blessing to the poor today. I shall encourage the meek today. I shall set at liberty them that are bruised today, them that are bound today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my family shall be blessed today, shall walk in favor today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy all my financial issues are dead and gone today. And I am blessed with finances today. Financial breakthrough is my portion today. Everything that was held up by the enemy concerning my finance is released today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every money that should have come to me has come to me today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord God Almighty spoke from his spirit and said, let there be, and there was. So I declare that the spirit of the living God is upon me, for he has anointed me to speak the word, to prophesy, to declare and to decree, to preach the gospel to the poor, to the meek, to the lowly. Hallelujah. And so this morning, by authority of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the power of the Holy Ghost, I prophesy that everything that easily beset me is no more. Everything that was holding back my family is no more. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that today is a good day, a day when the, the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow will be my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that health and strength, prosperity and good success is my portion and the portion of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that all who are listening to me right now are healthy and whole and strong. I prophesy that diabetes, hypertension, cancer, headaches, sinusitis, migraines, uh, uh, every kind of autoimmune disease are gone from our bodies, from our families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that fibroids, and every kind of uh, a female disorder in the womb, in the uterus, is gone, is cancelled, is, 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 is rebuked and discharged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every growth, every abnormality in the bodies of those who are hearing me now must be flushed out and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that does not represent God that is in our bodies, every, every contamination, everything that was impar imparted to us or inputted in us by satanic powers and, sat and demonic assignments uh, during the nights as we slept. I rebuke it. I discharge it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy to your cells, to your tissues, to your sinews, to your joints and marrow, to your nervous system, to your brain, to your frontal lobe, your cerebral cortex. Prophesy to your very tongue. I shall speak only as the Lord leads. I shall hear only the Lord's voice. I shall declare and decree and it shall be established for I am a mighty man of God, a mighty woman of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am a mighty man of valor. I am a mighty woman of valor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prosper. I succeed because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my Lord, my Savior, my God, and my King. My family is blessed to prosper, to increase, to expand, to enlarge because of me because i am saved sanctified and in the favor of the lord jesus christ of nazareth i walk in the fullness of god's goodness every day in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah everything that has that that is in me as a result of residue or backlash from medications that I've taken over the years, I command every demonic residue, every demonic backlash, every affecting spirit that comes from medications, uh, in every side effects from medications that I have taken, I cancel your assignment. I cancel your assignment in the name of Jesus. Every side effect from foods, genetically modified foods, foods with too much salt or too much sugar that we have eaten over the years. I reverse that curse and I cancel every backlash and every demonic assignment against our health. Everything that releases cancer, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis, uh, and every other sickness or disease that comes from these foods and these drinks that we have eaten and drunk over the years. I reverse those curses. I cancel those assignments now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic food and drink that we have eaten and drunk uh, in our sleep, 
and or, or every food that has been contaminated by witchcraft or demonic touch ah we reverse those curses and i command everything that is in our bodies this morning that is not of god that will not fulfill the purposes of god to be uprooted and destroyed by fire i speak to your cells now i speak to your intestines now and i say every contamination every unclean thing every foul spirit operating in your body as food as residue from food even years ago before you were saved anything that you have eaten anything that is operating in your cells floating around in your system hallelujah we declare that it must go now it must go now I command every contamination every parasite every parasite every Hittite spirit Jebusite spirit every illegal immoral thing that is squatting in our flesh in our souls in our bodies in our nervous system and up and our organs I command you right now by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth loose and go loose and go every fat cells every overweight every overweight spirit every fatty tissue uh, surrounding our stomach surrounding our whole body that is designed to create sickness and disease I command you now loose God's people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth go now go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah I, I command every unclean thing in your body to be vomited up now every ache and pain I speak to that now every pain in your joints in your back in your neck in your muscles every pain every pain Beatrice Beckford I speak the pains in your body right now by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I speak to every pain any one of you now that is hearing me that is experiencing pains in your body pains anywhere in your body place your hand upon your head and declare I prophesy to my body now and I command every pain to loose me go from my body now every pain every pain every pain Go from my body now, emotional pain, physical pain, psychological pain. Go from my body now, now. I'm not asking you, go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, whatever is affecting uh, Jones Lur, whatever is affecting Jones Lur, I command it to loose now. Break and go, break and go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic attack against Jones, every demonic attack against this Son of God, I have commanded to loose now and go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, people of God, prophesy to your situations. Come on, Jones, lure, prophesy to your situations. Prophesy, prophesy. Say, Lord, I come in agreement with my family in the fourth watch hour, and I command every situation that is easily besetting me that desires to downcast me to loose and go loose and go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I break your powers I cancel your assignment every demonic assignment against you I cancel it and destroy it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak to the atmosphere around us right now wherever you are whatever atmosphere you are in whether it's hot or cool or cold whether it's uh, uh it's it's smooth and angelic i speak to that atmosphere and i command it to favor you i command your atmosphere to favor you now i command a rain of blessing to fall upon you afresh now to heal to deliver to set free to make whole in the name of jesus christ i command every demonic spirit operating against your marriage against your your your, your future marriage i command that spirit to to fall to the ground and die now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command every demonic spirit working against your purpose working against your ministry your anointing and power I command that spirit to loose now and go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every spirit working against your talents your gifts your abilities every spirit that desires not to cause you hallelujah to, to benefit from your gifts talents and abilities I reject rebuke and renounce and discharge that foul unclean spirit now in the name of Jesus every spirit that came after Daniel that came after Shadrach Meshach and Abednego every Haman spirit hallelujah and every Naaman spirit every spirit of Nebuchadnezzar 
I break your powers and I cancel your assignment against God's people in the fourth watch family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every principality and power every ruler of darkness every spiritual wickedness in high places sent against our nation against our community against our families against our business against our finance I rebuke and discharge you now in the mighty name in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I declare that we are blessed and highly favored our children are blessed our grandchildren are blessed every element and aspect of our lives our family our business our jobs our workplace are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I set the tone for a day of blessing I set the tone for a week of blessing now in the name of Jesus Christ angels of the Most High God angels assigned to serve us angels assigned to minister to, to the fourth watch family in the fourth watch hour i ask you now by the authority of the lord jesus christ dispatch to every person that is here dispatch to these early risers dispatch to these persons who have come on board to hear from you the lord jesus christ of nazareth angels of god dispatch to bring correction direction and even resurrection to whatever ails your god's people to whatever is dead that should have been alive we ask you this morning angels of god move mightily move mightily touch 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 god's people today that they will know that they are in the presence of angels that they will know that there is a divine visitation taking place right now right now divine visitation divine visitation without hesitation i release the touch of the angels of the most high god upon you to bring direction to bring correction to bring healing and deliverance in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare that you are healed and you are blessed and you are highly favored now 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 in the mighty name in the matchless name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth glory be to the name of the most high god hallelujah 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 what a mighty god we serve hallelujah what a mighty god we serve hallelujah 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 to our king lord you are great and you are almighty all honor to you O king hallelujah 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 if you believe by faith that whatsoever we ask of god he has delivered it to us then i know that pains are gone that healing hallelujah has taken place blessings have started to flow already in the realm of the spirit by the time the sun comes up this morning depending on where you are i know that good news will be released and you will hear that the blessings of the lord makes rich and add no sorrow hallelujah 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 those who are feeling pains in their bodies i know that your pains are gone i'm believing god that he has touched by his grace and mercy your body this morning and you are healed and you are whole in the mighty name of jesus christ those who had things contaminations in their bodies i know that god has lifted those spirits and have healed you and delivered you today in the mighty name of jesus christ we are delivered we are healed we are made whole in the name of jesus christ of nazareth glory to god most high come on give god thanks in your own space and place just give god thanks for his healing and deliverance for his transformation for his breakthroughs that he has released upon each and every one of us this morning give god thanks that today is a good day today is an amazing day today is a blessed and highly favored day come on give god thanks that today your atmosphere your your your, your city your family your p your your come on your uh your nation is blessed because you have reached out and give glory unto the most high god hallelujah 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 what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve hallelujah bless the lord oh my soul glory to god most high hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus i pray in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth that our eyes our eyes our eyes as i lay hands upon my own eyes this morning i lay hands upon my own eyes i declare that our eyes are healed our eyes are healed every pain in the eye every pain in the eye every every blurred vision every cataract every glaucoma spirit i break your powers i can't see your assignment now i declare that our eyes are healed every pain 
every discomfort in our eyes go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every discomfort in our eyes every fogginess every blurriness of vision I cancel your assignment I rip you off I rip you off of our eyes in the name of Jesus and I declare 2020 vision in the natural and in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every pain in the eyes by the same spirit hallelujah that caused blind Bartimaeus to see by the same spirit that was in Jesus that healed the blind that made mud and spit and place on the eyes of the blind man and he started to see by that same anointing and power I declare every pain every hurt everything that is blocking our vision causing blurred vision to go now go now go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth any pain that you are feeling in your eyes any pain any blurriness of vision I command that to go now 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 cataract glaucoma I rip you off of the eyes of God's people by the same Spirit of God that did miracles signs and wonders for Yeshua the Amashiach of Nazareth and for the Apostles as they roamed the earth and demonstrated God's love so by that same Spirit I demonstrate God's love towards your eyes this morning towards your ears every ears every ear stuffed up with wax stuffed up as a result of deterioration of the eardrums I command a healing now I command excavating of every wax in your ear and I declare here clear healing clear hearing clear hearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I declare yes that you have eyes like an eagle that you will see from far and you will see clearly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that my son's eyes are clear my daughter's eyes are clear healed healthy and whole in the name of Jesus they shall see with 2020 visions right now come on pray over the eyes of your children declare that their eyes are healed their eyes are healthy their eyes are whole and will be so as the Lord tarries even if they live until 90 they will not wear any glasses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we speak correction to their vision to their their, their every every nerve every tissue every muscle every vein that connects to their eyeballs I declare them healthy and whole I declare that no no physical ailment shall affect their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth eyes be made whole anyone that is hearing me or seeing me this morning I speak to your eyes by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit and I command your eyes to be made whole and to be healed in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name Amen and Amen and Amen hallelujah 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 glory to God most high glory to God most high hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord for healing our eyes thank you Lord for healing our bodies thank you Lord for healing our souls thank you Lord for taking control thank you Lord for giving to us thy great salvation so full so free hallelujah 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 thank you Lord and father we just want to lay at your feet this odious this perplexing this vexing circumstance situation that we are facing in the world today this vexing situation that is overtaking our society that is coming like a flood we thank you this morning oh God Almighty that when anything comes at us like a flood you promise to raise up a standard and so God Almighty our society yes it was prophesied yes there is a a, 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 a declaration a prophetic utterance that tells us that these things shall come but I declare and decree that it shall not affect the elect I thank you Lord God Almighty that no matter what is happening in our society no matter what kind of immorality no matter what kind of wickedness no matter what office or offices they are coming from I declare that the elect shall be spared I thank you Lord God Almighty that sexual immorality shall not find the household of the elect in the name of Jesus Christ 
your sons and daughters shall be spared the embarrassment the evil concupiscence the, the wickedness of the enemy in the name of Jesus I declare and decree that many from the outside many with sinful mindset and sinful actions shall see us living in the high place living above the evil concupiscence of this world and will say I want to know dear God I thank you Lord that our lives shall be a reflection of your goodness and shall draw men unto you in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you Lord that our children are protected from the contamination of the systems of this world everything that so easily beset them everything that would seek to influence them through the, through the various uh, electronic medium I thank you Lord God Almighty that it shall not affect our children every spirit of compromise every spirit of, of Lodi bar shall not affect our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I thank you Lord God Almighty that our children shall arise and their enemies will scatter in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you O Holy Father for your blessings and favor upon our children today and every day for the rest of our lives or until you come in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah come on give God a praise give God a praise give God a praise hallelujah as you have prophesied as you have declared and decreed this day so it is as you have asked the Lord for deliverance from that which easily beset you on this deliverance Thursday it has been done hallelujah healing has taken place deliverance has taken place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and father we declare now any lingering any residue of any ailment in the bodies of your people I command them now I command any hindrance any hindrance any residue any residue of any demonic force any demonic inspired sickness in the bodies of anyone hearing my voice now I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every residue every demonic residue come on break and go every demonic residue break and go now out out every demonic residue of depression of rejection of abandonment every demonic residue of sickness and disease infirmity I break your powers I cancel your stronghold every demonic residue of witchcraft of generational curses I break your powers and I command you now loose God's people as they hear my voice any residue any residue even microscopic in the lives of any of God's people hearing my voice now come on take a deep breath and just breathe out and any residue of any demonic assignment against your life will go with that breath leaving your body right now come on deep breath <sighs> hallelujah that's it that's it that's it any demonic residue anything that is in your body illegally must go right now out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak from the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ on this day that God has assigned for deliverance I break every stranglehold holding on every baby every egg everything that is in the womb of the women or in the in the prostate of the men hiding in corners and crevices hiding behind your heart i command you by the authority of the lord jesus christ out one more deep breath and out out in the mighty name of jesus christ up and out every demonic residue in the lives of god's people i break your powers and i command you now come out I'm not asking you I command you in the name of Jesus Christ loose and go loose and go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah hallelujah and father I just lift up uh, Kerry and son this morning I lift up this man I lift him up in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare that he is blessed and highly favored I speak to his spirit I speak to his soul and I say father every spirit that wants to downcast his soul every spirit that wants to attack him and to make him feel uh, not 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 feel self-assured not feel like he is ready to, to carry out his task and duties 
I reverse that curse and I cancel that assignment against him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Carry on. I declare that your son is healed. Your son is whole. His downcast spirit is no longer downcast in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I uproot every assignment of the enemy, every spirit of untimely death that has been released against him, every spirit of depression released against your son. I uproot that and destroy it by fire. I put a hedge of protection around him in the name of Jesus Christ. He shall enjoy his job. He shall not be depressed and suppressed in everything that he's the best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every demonic thing that has happened to him, every spirit of jealousy, every spirit of jealousy against him by even his squaddies. I reverse that curse. I reverse that curse. And I declare that every evil word spoken against your son, Kerian, is canceled and reversed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that word curses, word curses spoken against him, or him go on like, and who him think him be and him think him better than anybody else he thinks that he's better than anyone else on the job i reverse those word curses ah i i hear one voice saying him will see him will see saying that him not that good him not that special i reverse every word curse spoken against the the, the, the son of god the son of, a, of an anointed woman of God. I declare that he's the seed of the righteous and he shall flourish and prosper. And so everything that has been given to him to eat or to drink that will cause him to go into depression, every demonic assignment against his life, I reverse that curse and cancel that assignment now. And I declare that your son, hallelujah, is healed. Your sons are healed. Your blood, your, 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 every person, that is here now i declare your sons healed your daughters healed delivered set free and made whole in the mighty name of jesus christ because they are the children of the righteous and the righteous seed shall flourish shall prosper and so i declare hallelujah by the power and the anointing of the living god that the favor of god is upon you and upon your children right now right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Every spirit of jealousy against your son, Shireen, hallelujah. Every spirit of, 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 of jealousy against your son, every spirit, hallelujah, that wants to block your son from becoming that, 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 that great sportsman and that great academic uh, excellence that God has released unto him, uh, that is being blocked by even some family members. Yes, hallelujah. I reverse every curse, every curse from his father's side. Showing you to read every curse against your son from your father, from his father's side. I reverse that curse. I cancel that assignment now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare the blessings of the Lord is upon each and every person that is hearing my voice now. I reverse every demonic curse, every destructive curse against you and against your children. I reverse it and cancel it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that your children are the blessed of God, the highly favored of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will flourish and prosper and increase in God's grace and favor and mercy in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you for your touch on our children today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release scholarships to those who are matriculating into high schools. I release scholarships to those who are going from high schools into college, those who are moving to the next level in September to the next grade, the higher grade in high school. I release scholarships. I release favor with teacher. I release favor with the principal. I release favor. Hallelujah. Favor, 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 academic favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, favor. I declare that you're a leader on the campus where you shall go. Those who are just getting ready to go to school for the first time, those young toddlers, ah, I declare favor, favor, favor. I declare that we are leaders at every level. Our children are leaders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we declare that we shall walk in the fullness of God's favor as, our, as will our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. I release scholarships in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I release, hallelujah, 
the anointing to block out every demonic assignment to block out every demonic influence over our children in the name of Jesus I block off the frequency of our children's ears from every demonic influence and every demonic frequency every demonic music every demonic movie every demonic cartoon I cancel from our eyes from our children's eyes and ears in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I thank you Lord that our children are blessed and highly favored and will walk in the fullness of your goodness in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name Amen and Amen and Amen Hallelujah if you can believe and receive that it is done by the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth come on hallelujah all you have to do is believe it all you have to do is prophesy Lord so let it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth next level next level sister Monique your daughter is gonna take the entire company hallelujah to a next level uncommon success anointing and power is upon your daughter there's a grace that is being released right now on your daughter in particular but on your son as well and that which they desire to do and to be God says I'm not only releasing it upon your son and on your daughter but I'm releasing it on the sons and daughters the children and grandchildren of the fourth watch family right now ah God's hand God's hand I feel the presence of God tingling all over my body God's hand is extended towards the fourth watch family this morning for thou hast been faithful says the Lord thou hast pressed in and thou hast been faithful to come into my presence to hear my word and to listen to what I have to say and because you have been faithful I will demonstrate my faithfulness to you and to your children and so right now your children are being blessed there's a fire that is falling upon your children right now even if they're asleep right now those of you who have been concerned about the attitudes and the behavior and the direction that it's that you see your children going the lord says to tell you this morning hallelujah by 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 hallelujah by revelation that your children shall not fail they shall prevail they shall not go to jail not in the spirit or in the natural the Lord says to tell you that his hands are upon your children today the right hand of God is upon your children and they will flourish they will turn around they will shift they will accomplish that which God has purposed for them to accomplish do not fear says the Lord do not fear what men will do do not fear the influences of the environment some of us hallelujah as parents we are concerned because we see what is happening children are becoming confused they are being told things that children are not supposed to hear they have been exposed to things that children are not supposed to see they have been uh, they are being influenced by the by the society that is perverted ah but God says to tell you that because you have been faithful 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 in coming into his presence faithful in reading his word faithful in praying and believing him God says to tell you that your children are safe in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death your children are safe for my rod and staff is there to comfort them says the Lord do not worry or fret when they go out on their own when they're on their way to school do not be concerned as to what will happen to them at school what they will hear how they will be influenced God says I have shut off their ears with the helmet of salvation I have covered their eyes with my eyes says the Lord I have blocked their hearts from receiving anything that is evil and immoral says the Lord for I am your God and your father I am your protector I am the shepherd of the sheep says the Lord and I will cover guard and keep your family your children in particular in this season and in the seasons to come says the Spirit of the Lord fear not for I am with you as promised says the Lord hallelujah 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 our children are covered hallelujah they are blessed and highly favored in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth glory to God most high hallelujah 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 thank you Lord 
Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For saving our souls. Thank you, Lord, for making us whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to us thy great salvation so full, so free. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. 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 What a God. Hallelujah. Come on. I want to just take 30 seconds and just give God thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God has delivered us and God has, has encouraged our soul and our spirit this morning. And we give you praise. Holy One of Israel, I praise your name. I glorify your name. I honor you, O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for your uncommon blessing. Thank you for open door. Thank you for the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that this morning you pour out afresh upon us the fruit of the spirit and the gifts of the spirit that we might truly be impacting to our generation and our society in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord jesus you are awesome in this place almighty god you are worthy of all praise and to you our lives we raise you are awesome in this place almighty god hallelujah father we just ah thank you holy spirit Father, we just pray this morning for the churches, 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 for all the denominations, O oh God, that say they represent the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we as a family intercede for them this morning. We intercede for every church denomination that exists, every church that exists that calls the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare, O oh God Almighty, that every blockading spirit, every spirit of cataract, in our God that wants to block their eyes from seeing righteousness, holiness, and truth as the fullness of purpose. All those churches, O oh God, who have begun to openly embrace immoralities of every kind and every shape and have brought them in and have not delivered them, set them free or set them straight by the righteousness of your word, the holiness of your word. Father, we pray for them this morning. We pray for those church leaders that are embracing evil, that are embracing, oh God, immoralities against your word. Father, we pray for them this morning and we say, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let them not redefine love. Let them not redefine purpose. Let them not redefine your word. Let them not redefine what is holiness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, if there be any tear anywhere in the kingdom of God, in the body of Christ that is leading people down the path of unrighteousness, Father, we uproot them. We uproot them in the name of Jesus. We uproot and destroy the works of those demonic forces operating from the pulpit, operating from the board, operating from the eldership, operating from the deaconship, operating from the usher, the usher um, cadre. We uproot them and destroy them by fire. Every demonic spirit, every tear that has been planted in the church and have come up to be in positions of influence. Father, this morning we uproot them in the realm of the spirit and we declare that they are no longer welcome. Hallelujah. Their work has been destructive but now we are in the constructive mode and so father we reconstruct everything that they are they have destroyed in the church and we declare that every illegal immoral wicked spirit operating in our churches father we uproot them by fire we make them uncomfortable this day and we declare that every unclean foul spirit every jezebel spirit every ahab spirit Every Nebuchadnezzar spirit, every Jebusite and Parasite and Philistine spirit operating in the churches across the world and especially in the churches of the Fourth Watch family members. Father, this day we attack and take back what the enemy has stolen from us and we declare that only righteousness, holiness and truth shall be evidence in our churches. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God most high. Glory to God most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's right, Sister Jacqueline. The time has expired for those evil, hallelujah, carriers of evil to operate in our churches. <coughs> As we have expelled them from our homes and from our children, so we must expel them from the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your Bibles. Hallelujah. For those who have just joined, those who have joined late after the welcome, I welcome you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> you guys have to start setting your alarm. Too many people are coming in half an hour, uh, 40 minutes after we have started, and you miss a lot. Please, I'm begging you. You miss a lot of the, 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 the targeted prayers. You miss a lot of the things that's supposed to set your day and set your, your 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 time and your season and set your family so please i'm begging you i'm not chastising you i'm not cursing you i'm just saying to you please you're missing a lot when you come on half an hour after we've started because we start with with, with intense prayer and prayer for some things that <coughs> excuse me that i know without fear of contradiction that is needed in our lives personally and in our families amen and so try as best as you can i know you won't be able to do it every single day um like some people can and that's fine no condemnation no judgment here but try as best as you can to um to be in that first early half an hour 40 minutes as early as you can so that you can be a part of the intense prayer and prophetic decrees that happens in that time so that the, when the sun comes up it comes up on your words manifesting in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen praise god so make an, eff, an extra effort to be a part two things i need for you to make an extra effort to be a part of is to catch the early part of the prayer in that first half an hour section and to make sure that you share with persons you guys are not sharing enough uh, i don't know why um i guess you have your reasons but if if it is not an issue if it doesn't offend anyone and if you um you 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 can and just keep forgetting make a note to yourself to just share the broadcast so that others can be blessed um i can remember days when we had shares of up to 80 76 78 80 now we're we're down to shares of 40 and 46 and sometimes pretty close to none at all and so I don't know what is happening, um, but uh, if it is that this ministry and this devotional time is important or valuable to you, then part of the demonstration of that should be that you make an attempt to share. You don't have to. We're just asking that you do that for us, that others may be blessed. I've said this before and I'll say it again one more time. Uh, many persons that are a part of this family now are a part of this family because others shared the broadcast with them and they say, wow, this is something that I would want to be a part of and you're now a part of the family. And so it's the way that we will um, grow and evolve and it's a way that persons will be impacted positively by what's going on. Amen. And so if you can, if it is possible, please share as best as you can with persons who you know would need to be a part of this devotional family so that they too can be blessed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. So I want you to turn with me in your Bibles. Those of you who have your Bibles and can um, turn, whether you are uh, on your cell phone, your tablet, or you have the physical paper Bible in front of you, Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of James chapter 1. The book of James chapter 1. So we have been doing humble as the second word in the first Peter chapter 5 sequence of words that gives us uh, access to dominate. Remember, last month the word was dominate and this month the word is win. Now when you dominate, you usually win. When you see in bold, was in his prime and running and when Shelly Ann Fraser was in her prime and running now she has not retired and so I am going to prophesy that she's still in her prime and she still will do very very well as a matter of fact the Jamaica National Trials begins today to pick the team for the world championships in Budapest and so um, there is uh, uh, the, the, the athletes are going to be showing their, their, their gifts and talents 
to all of Jamaica and to the world beginning today. I pray for them. I pray health and strength. I pray that they will all come, come out healthy and that they will do their best and perform excellent. And who don't make the team, I pray that they will have done their best performance, their excellent performance for the year, their personal best. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I bless all the athletes and I speak health and strength to all the athletes, not just Jamaica, but the other nations of the world that are getting ready to um, have their trials in this week. And um, those who have had their trials already, I pray that they will remain in health and that Budapest World Championship will be one of the best uh, that we have seen thus far. Amen. Um, and so uh, uh, we want to just continue to be a blessing wherever we are so james chapter 1 reading from verse 19 from verse 19 hallelujah hallelujah from verse 19 to verse 22 but what are we what are we talking about we're talking about hallelujah um intense prayer yes let me make sure that i didn't make a mistake uh, 19 James chapter 1 19 my dear brothers take note everyone should quick to listen okay um where am I obedience to God's world okay ah yes I was jumping the gun a little bit okay so yesterday we did recognize our sinfulness before the Holy One and we did we looked at the scripture Romans 8 6 to 9 recognizing our sinfulness is the video froze is it is it okay now are you seeing now someone from facebook said that the video froze can you um give me an indication if you are if you are back up you're back online facebook give me an indication if you're back online please hallelujah i'm seeing myself moving so i'm not frozen from my side anyone anyone can someone do something okay i'm i'm good yes hallelujah hallelujah so canada is good america is good new york is good back on okay hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus okay all right good job thank you guys appreciate you so much hallelujah okay so yesterday we looked at and we're looking at uh, between today and tomorrow hopefully um, ways to practice humility so humility is something that we have to practice we have to practice it doesn't just automatically come and stay we have to practice we have to be mindful we have to be um, uh, uh, diligent in practicing to develop humility until it becomes a lifestyle amen good christians practice to walk in the spirit of humility daily good christians practice to walk in the spirit of humility daily okay it's very very important and so these are just a few ways that we can practice humility yesterday we looked extensively um, at recognize that we must recognize our sinfulness before god in order to practice humility every day we must recognize our sinfulness Paul says we must repent daily constantly pray without ceasing and repent constantly amen pray without ceasing as a sign of our sinfulness that in our prayer God can help us daily to be strong in him and in the power of his might amen and so we must recognize that without the anointing of God without the power of God without the Spirit of God without even the angels of God we would be drawn away by our sinful lust lust of the flesh lust of the eyes pride of life anger bitterness greed slothfulness so many things are waiting to pull us into a place where we shouldn't be and so it is recognizing that these sinful habits and behavior traits that are in us are waiting to draw us away to lower us um, that we can practice humility by surrendering these things to God daily 
So in James chapter 1, verse 19 to 22, um, we're talking now about obedience to God's word. <coughs> so number two on the list is obedience to God's word, God's will, God's purpose, and his authority, and his designated authority as well. So we must be obedient to God's authority and to his designated authority. Now, I know that this part, especially the designated authority, creates a little discomfort for a lot of people because there are many persons, even, even on, um, in this family, that have been hurt by quote-unquote God's designated authority. Some persons have really, really, really bad experiences, bad encounters. I know because several of them come to our church who have had really bad experiences and it will never change that human beings though designated as God's authority will say or do something inadvertently or otherwise that will hurt you and so the important thing I want to leave with you this morning is not that you are to be apprehensive or judgmental or condemnatory of anyone who has ever said or done anything to hurt you but to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that that's not where you are to focus where your focus should be is is on whether or not this individual is God's designated authority I've said this many times and I will continue to say it because I have no doubt that this is absolute truth Reverend Dr. Merrick Al Miller is one of the humblest, most loving, most kind, most sincere human beings I have ever met. If I could be even 50% of the man that he is in terms of how he has learned and practiced humility and love and joy and peace and temperance and just a willingness to be uh, one that owes no man anything but love. Even him even him will say or do something or not say or not do something that will offend or hurt someone and so hear me carefully please listen to my heart if you're not hearing my words if your focus if our focus is on an act or an inaction or a word or a non-word to determine whether or not someone is genuine or sincere or perfect then we will be people most disgusting most disgusted most broken most hurt that's the action the word the feeling the environment the moment is not what determines whether or not a person has been designated by God as his authority in the earth that's not it because people are people and people will say something that they shouldn't do something that they should that they shouldn't but it doesn't mean that they are not God's designated authority and so the question that we must ask ourselves is am I submitting to one of God's designated authority that's the important thing because if you are convinced if you are convinced it's like if Pastor Marsha is not convinced by any stretch of the imagination that she's married to the man who God ordained for her to be married to any mistake that is made anything said that offends anything done that offends anything not done that should have been done come on anything that should have been said that is not said is going to be like a, a, a nuclear bomb dropped on the marriage are you hearing me it's the same thing with the relationship in church It's the same thing with the relationship at your workplace if you have employees or if you are an employee and you don't believe that God is who placed you in that environment then anything that is done in that environment to upset you and it must happen by just normal human beings being in the same space 
you must get offended or offense must be in the atmosphere but if you are concrete sure that this atmosphere is where God has placed you then the, 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 the offense that is in the atmosphere is designed by Satan to get you out of the will of God come on somebody and so obedience to what God has said about where he wants you to be at that time, the marriage he wants you to be in, the relationship he wants you to be in, the church that he wants you to be at, the authority that he wants you to submit to, if that's what drives you every minute of every day, then regardless of what that authority may do in their moment of weakness, in their moment of flesh, in their moment of frustration or annoyance or whatever, will not determine what you do or don't do because because you are not driven by what reactions or actions come from anyone else you are driven by the fact that God says this is my designated authority to watch over you and to do the best for you 98% of the time come on amen and so that's one of the reasons why from day one when we started this family and started this process I have said to every single person that will remember listen to me if you think that this is God's designated place for you to have devotions in the morning if you hear me say anything that is out of context out of the will of God out of it's not intentional I am not trying to go against God's will or God's word or God's intent so call me up call me up and say pastor uh, uh, are you sure about this let's can we have a discussion around this i will not reject you i will not jump on any high horse and say how dare you i am the authority and how could you say this and you are wrong and no i'm not gonna do that because we're family and if i am the designated authority then i must honor you as i desire for you to honor me amen praise god and so your decision, and I, we've, we've had it. We've had persons who say, um, I, I, I don't like something that you say or you said, and they just don't come back. And I'm saying, wow, look at that. You're looking at the outcome of an issue instead of whether or not this person has been chosen by God, elected by God to bring his word by his spirit to encourage you each day so many persons have left churches have left jobs have left marriages have left friendships come on have left communities have left nations have migrated incorrectly in disobedience because they refuse to submit to the authority that God has put in place and so it's very important guys that we understand obedience in the context of not just what we hear but obedience by what we know and what we believe obedience by what we know and what we believe and so in a marriage that seems to be going through a rocky time obedience is not just uh, I am staying because I'm already married obedience is more I am staying because God is who put us together come on somebody amen I am staying at this job despite the fact that I don't get paid well despite the fact that these people are frustrating and annoying me but I know I heard God God is who told me either himself directly or through the prophet that he has sent his authority in the earth that this is the place I should be and I cannot leave unless God has given me the release to leave. And if I am being frustrated and annoyed and upset, the only reason I'm not going to respond or react and leave is because I'm being obedient to God who said this is where I should be. Come on. Amen. And so often we are frustrated and annoyed by situations. We have had situations I've heard from other counselors of Christians 
who have made up in their minds i am done with this relationship i am leaving i am not even making any attempt or any effort to reconcile i am done she's an idiot she has no sense she is uh, disgusting she's rebellious or he's a he's a this he's a that he is disgusting he's annoying he's not communicating he's angry he's cross he's miserable he's everything and the question that i have heard asked and that i would ask is this did god say this is your spouse i've had persons tell me god said this is my spouse and then when a little difficulty comes they, they the first port of call is to be disobedient to god's word that he gave disobedience is not an option disobedience for the child of god is not an option but only humility only the humble heart can still be obedient when everything else is working against how you feel what you know what you see what you are experiencing experiencing only obedience through humility can truly give you the victory that we deserve or that we need amen so obedience is not just saying i'm gonna obey god's word because many people say i will obey god's word but they only obey god's word in church when the pastor or the praise and worship leader says raise your hand and say jesus how i love you how i adore you or when the praise and worship leader says come on lift your hands and praise god come on give god a praise give god a praise we obey that because it's easy but when we are when we hear come on you gotta hang in there you gotta get into your prayer closet at two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning and pray for your husband who is not coming home early Pray for your husband who come home and smell like perfume. Pray for your husband who seems like he's off on a different pathway. Pray for your child who seems like he's going down a road that he shouldn't go down. Pray for your child on whom you smell weed like yesterday. Come on, somebody. Can you still be obedient and press in and praise God and pray and travail when things don't look good? When you're not in that atmosphere that environment where it's easy to obey because obedience is not just what is easy obedience is also what is difficult doing what is difficult amen in today's day a lot of christians are disobedient with their time their talent and their treasure they give it to the world but hardly to god we give worship and we give time in prayer and time in the word, but our talents and our treasure, volunteering to help the church to grow by the talent that you have, marketing, IT, technology, or even just your resources. For some persons, oh, I am not giving my money to the church because I don't know what pastor is going to do with it. I don't know if pastor is going to buy a car, if pastor is going to steal it, whatever. It is a there's a worldwide survey that says only about 20 to 25 percent of Christians across the world pay tithe, but 100 percent of Christians across the world wants an air conditioned sanctuary or at least some fans. They want a building that is comfortable, chairs that are not bored or metal. You understand what I'm saying? So obedience is not just what we do when things are comfortable, when things are nice, when things are easy. Obedience is also requested and required when things are not how we like it. One of the things that pastors endure in a very big way is persons who want the pastor or the leader or the boss to be obedient to them because they think they are the designated authority because they hear from god listen to me women of god in particular and men of god in general women of god in particular and men of god in general if god has placed you under a designated authority obedience to that authority comes first 
I'm not talking, don't, don't, don't mention that um, the authority might be saying something bad or doing something, but no, I'm not talking about that. That's not what we're focused on. We're focused on God's designated authority, one that God chose to be righteous, holy, and true. Because even those, we have a hard time being obedient to. Even those. And as we grow and begin to hear from God, we become the authority in a lot of instances. If our designated authority disagrees with us, we go off and do our own thing. Oh, I'm listening to God. I'd rather obey God than man. And we have attitude. I, I, I have done it so many times. I am reformed and repentant. Oh, I'm praying and I'm hearing from God and I believe God wants me to do this. But I'm inexperienced as to when God wants me to do it, how God wants me to do it, where God wants me to do it. And his designated authority has the experience, come on, and the office to speak into it and help to bring guidance. Sometimes you hear from God and God is saying, this is what I want you to do, but it's not yet. Samuel went to Jesse's house and poured oil on David and crowned him king over Israel. King! And 14 years later, he was running for his life. Hiding in caves, pretending he was mad. Eating squalor. Threatening to kill a man just to take food. After he was anointed king, what are you talking about? What are we talking about? Amen? So it is important for us to understand the depths of obedience and the depths of obedience to God's designated authority and to God's authority. Because if we disobey God's designated authority, we're disobeying God's authority as well. Because he's the one that says you should obey this authority. Your authority is your boss, your husband, come on, your pastor, your prime minister, your member of parliament, anyone that is in a direct leadership role above you. Now we could go into a whole spiel, um, spiel of, 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 um, of scenarios that says if he does this and if she does that, why should I obey? No, we're not, we're not even going there. We're talking about God's designated authority. I say it again. Okay? Because if we practice of obedience to the authority that God has put in place, then we won't have to worry about the things that the authority does. Amen? Hallelujah. So, obedience, I had to explain that um, uh, from the perspective of God's word, which says one thing, God's will, which sometimes is not necessarily clearly defined in scripture, in a sentence that you can follow come on but like for example when God says it is not his will that any should perish but that all should come to repentance now what does that mean in its context it means that every single human being regardless of how wicked and evil and how sinful and whatever evil things that they may have done or is doing or will do in the future God does not wish for them to perish and so if we're obedient to God's will, that requires an action that is always looking to reconcile the most evil of persons. You understand what I'm saying? You get that now? Okay. So obedience to God's will is that we must always be seeking to reconcile even the most evil of persons. Even a witch. Though the word of God says, suffer not a witch to live. That is God's decision if that witch is to die. Our decision is to pray, Father, I pray that this person who has been drawn away into evil concupiscence, into witchcraft, Father, I pray that you will have mercy on her like you have had mercy on so many others. I pray, God, that you will bring forth this warlock as those of those who are satanic that you have changed, that you have transformed, that you have changed. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, for it is your word that says it is not your will that any should perish. That includes that witch. That includes that obiamana. That includes that warlock. 
warlock. That includes that large man. That includes that Illuminati man. That includes President Biden and every other president that is involved in making rules and regulations. Ah, God, that is against your word. But Father, you can change them as you touch the Bemaleka. Touch them, God. Can we pray that prayer when we disagree completely with the behavior and the rules and the laws that are being passed and things that are being done? Can we still pray that prayer sincerely? Most of us can't. Or should I say, backtrack, I'm sorry, I apologize. Too many of us can't pray that prayer sincerely. We just can't. Or maybe we just won't. Because we don't understand obedience to God's will. Come on. We're teaching good. I know the time is going, but God just wants me to highlight and to break apart these words so that we understand what he requires of us. So that when we're doing it, we do it from a place of knowledge. So when we're travailing, 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 hallelujah, <laughs> Minister Stephen says it's not, it's not can't, it's won't. Yeah, because we can do it, but a lot of us won't. Amen? Hallelujah. And so um, we must obedience to God's word, to God's will. What is his will? It is his will that we love each other and that we love him. Amen? His purpose. What is God's purpose for you and purpose for your children? And purpose, your, God's purpose for your child is for him to be a pastor. But in your view, a pastor is poverty stricken. A pastor only gets rich if he preaches prosperity gospel and steals from the, 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 the church. So I don't want my son to be a pastor. I want my son to be a lawyer. That he will have a nice house on the hill. And he will have a nice life. Uh, but that nice house and that nice life, if he's out of purpose, could lead to a nice place, in, a nice spot in a corner in hell. And so we must be obedient to God's word even concerning our children. Most of us would love to have our children be doctors and lawyers and business moguls. We would love our children to be brilliant and fantastic and to accomplish great things and to be sports stars and all these kinds of fabulous things that we see and admire. But it is, it, is it God's purpose for them? And so our prayer and travailing must not be, Lord, make my daughter a lawyer, make my son a doctor, make my son a whatever business owner. Ah, God, make him a, a, a president for a Fortune 500 company. No, it should be, Lord, let your purpose be done in my son. Let your purpose be done in my daughter. Father, your purpose is perfect. So let your perfect purpose be manifested in my children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth purpose lord god almighty i cry out for purpose to be done in my child's life in jesus name glory to god hallelujah we don't have to name out a whole slew of things because god's perfect purpose for our life and for our children is way better than any purpose that we could ever have for our children or even for ourselves amen praise god hallelujah Woo. The time is just running so fast. God help me. Hallelujah. And so that's purpose and his authority. Well, I dealt with authority and designated authority already. And so you get the you get it, right, guys? Pray for purpose to be done in our lives and in the lives of our children. Not what we want. Because what we want is tainted, tainted by the things that we see, by the situations and circumstances around us. We want our child to study artificial intelligence and and um and computers because that's the new trend and that will make them a lot of money and allow them to live well and maybe even pass down some money to us as well no god's purpose father let your purpose let your purpose be done in the lives of our children in jesus name so that's that's number two um that demonstrates uh, how we practice humility, obedience to God's word, obedience to God's will, praying for God's purpose, submitting our desires for purpose to God's desire for our purpose and for the purpose of our family. That's not easy, but it's a demonstration of our willingness to practice humility, to submit to one who has a greater authority and a greater power um, in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah, as we practice that. So I'm going to read uh, as we close 
um, James chapter 1 verse 19 to 22 it says let me find it verse 19 says and this I'm reading from the NIV version my dear brothers take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry that is a reflection of God's word in requesting that we be obedient and it will produce humility so if we are if we are um, quick to listen then that's obedience remember where it says spend time listening to others if we're quick to listen that's a sign that we're practicing humility if we are slow to speak that's a sign of humility because we are not we, we're not we're not we don't think that we have the answer to everything that we know everything if we're slow to speak it means that we're listening for the Holy Spirit to give us the answer that we will speak from amen some of us speak too fast we speak before we hear we speak before we know we speak before we have we, we, we know what the Holy Spirit is saying we speak before we hear what is being said to us or what is being asked of us. So God is saying, obey my word and be slow to speak. Because when you speak, after you have fully digested what is requested of you, and I by the Holy Spirit, says God, gives you the answer, you will marvel those who hear you when you finally speak. Come on, glory to God. Amen? So humility puts you in a position to speak from the center of God. My Jesus. Glory to God. I wish I had more time. Hallelujah. And it says, slow to become angry. Slow to become angry. The Bible says, be angry but sin not. That means you must only be angry when you yourself disobey God and get angry that sins. Obedience and humility will never produce anger obedience and humility will never produce anger it will only produce peace and favor amen so we're gonna stop there tomorrow morning we'll pick up now let me just read um read the rest of it for just it being in the atmosphere verse 20 for man's anger man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that god desires so man's anger does not bring about obedience does not bring about come on purpose does not bring about the will of god does not bring about submission to authority or the designated authority of god amen man's anger doesn't if you can remember all the times that you have gotten angry even with your children it didn't produce the best result of god because we reacted out of that anger and maybe we hit too hard or said something too bad and we ended up, even though we started out right, because we got angry, had to repent or apologize. Amen? Hallelujah. How many of us have that happened to? That's happened to me many times. Verse 21. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah hallelujah what a mighty god verse 22 says do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves do what it says do not merely listen to the word that says be obedient be humble come on do not be angry do not merely just hear it but be obedient to it and we can be obedient to the word if we practice humility does that make sense praise God hallelujah so that's number two of how we can practice um, I will do a little recap tomorrow before I go into the others hallelujah but I hope that you were blessed this morning from what God had to say and that you were also delivered and set free by the prayers that took place early in the morning hallelujah if you were truly blessed please remember to share remember to share this broadcast that others can be blessed as well amen let us pray father we bless you this morning we thank you for your goodness and mercy uh, towards us father whatever time zone your people are in I pray that you will touch them in a special way and cause them to learn and to grow and to evolve 
and to be reconciled unto you according to your will and become agents of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems, O God, we pray. May they be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup. And he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to just say a special thank you this morning to those of you on TikTok who are either joining for the first time or have joined or have not joined in a long time, but this morning you showed up. The numbers on TikTok has increased significantly, significantly this morning, and I thank God for that, and I thank God for you. I bless you if this was your first time. Hallelujah. I hope that you enjoyed this devotional time and I pray God's favor, God's blessing upon you and upon your household in the name of Jesus. I see at least one extra one additional on top of the consistent number that is always on Instagram and I bless you if you are still there. I bless you and declare God's favor and I declare God's favor over all of the faithfuls that continue to come into this time of devotion to be a blessing in the ears of the Lord and faithful in the presence of our God. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in jesus name remember jesus love you and we love the world i want to too. on behalf of pastor marsha wade i'm rowan wade saying have a wonderful day a blessed day a highly favored day god's way in the name of jesus christ please remember make an extra effort to do something good for someone today i'm telling you this 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 thing has been a blessing i hear the testimonies of persons who are going out of their way to be a blessing to others and it inspires me to do it as well um i used to have a an issue i used to be frustrated when the guys would come to wipe my windshield especially if someone just wiped it at the stoplight further up and guys come to wipe it again and i'm like what's wrong with you leave my glass don't you see it's clean but since i've started to to buy the holy spirit talk about going out of the way to do something good now i look forward and even when they don't wipe my glass i look for something to, to just wind down the window and give to them um because i'm practicing to walk in love i don't normally have it naturally but we have to practice it just like we practice humility we have to practice love until love becomes the foundation of our existence and humility the existence of our practice amen praise god love you guys have a good one you are blessed angels are with you to cover you and to make crooked places straight and rough roads smooth in jesus name god bless you bye hallelujah to our king Hallelujah, we will sing you a great.